Of all the new electric cars to arrive on Irish roads this year, this is arguably the most exciting of them all. This is the e-tron GT, Audi's new flagship electric vehicle, which takes the fight to the Tesla Model S. With a 479 kilometer range, striking styling, and lots of common features with, with the Porsche Taycan, it is well equipped for the task too. Audi has found something special with the styling of the e-tron GT from the swooping front end with the enclosed front grille and creases along the side right down to the striking LED light cluster at the rear. It launches to the Irish market with two different models to choose from, the e-tron GT Quattro that we see here or also a high performance RS e-tron GT which we look forward to reviewing at a later stage. Both models get an 85 kilowatt hour battery pack and Audi claims an electric range of up to 479 kilometers from a single charge. The e-tron GT is well set up for fast charging too. For example, with an Ionity fast charger, you can charge up to 80% in just 25 minutes. Inside, as you would expect, the e-tron GT has Audi's latest and greatest tech with large infotainment screens, a clever heads-up display, and it's also nice to see that Audi has retained some physical buttons for controlling the aircon and other functions. The e-tron GT Quattro is as exciting to drive as it looks, with 470 horsepower going to electric motors at the front and rear. This means it can sprint from 0 to 100 km an hour in just 4.1 seconds and it feels every bit as fast with instantaneous power delivery. Audi is keen to point out how agile it is to drive too, as power can be sent to the front or rear wheels depending on different driving conditions. From our short drive in the car today, I can tell you it is very exhilarating to drive. Prices for the Audi e-tron GT Quattro start from around €102,000 in Ireland, excluding grants. We look forward to reviewing this car in full at a later stage. In the meantime, you can check out carzone.e to browse Audis for sale from trusted sellers across Ireland.